What's going on guys? Welcome to the very first episode of Countdown to Thrones. It's going to be a weekly vlog where I'm going to talk about, you know, stuff in our wheelhouse, you know, whatever's out there, news information, something that applies to what we're talking about. And basically the reason why I'm doing this is I just don't have time to make a thousand videos. I mean, I go across all kinds of forms of media and read stuff all the time that I really want to talk about. I really want to do a video about, but I just don't have time to do you know, 5, 10, 15 videos a week. Unfortunately, I have a real job, and I don't get paid to do this, which I wish I did. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about stuff up until Game of Thrones comes back on. Same thing with Richie. Richie is super busy right now. Hopefully, he will be back by time for Game of Thrones to come back on, and we can start doing videos again. But that's kind of the issue, too, is that there's nothing out there. There's nothing happening. There's no Game of Thrones. And we're... You know, we're kind of getting sick of speculating about stuff that's been speculated to death. We need some new information. By now, we hoped that George would have the books done, or at least the, the book he's working on finished. We'd have that book by now. It was supposed to come out last year. But, you know, man, this guy, he is he is the most, the most unbelievable procrastinator I've ever seen in my life. He can't finish the book. I honestly don't think he knows how to finish a book, and that's the reason why we don't have a finished, you know, book. And then he's got to work on the last book. So... You know, hey, okay, George, we'll just sit around and, and look for whatever little piece of news we can find about Game of Thrones and talk about that. And that's the first thing I'm going to talk about, and that is the fact that they're making the new series. You know, they came out and they said four, now they said five series. Working on five possible series. Now, the thing about this that kind of gets me excited, we don't know for sure they're going to do five, but they're exploring the idea of five. So let's say they do two or three. Is it? It's possible that after Game of Thrones comes off, we might have Game of Thrones for an entire year in some way, shape, or form. Now, we might not also, you know, have a couple episodes of one show, a few months off, another show, a few months off, another show. I mean, HBO wants to milk this thing to death, and if they did this, it'd be great because we wouldn't have to have these huge layoffs in between Game of Thrones and the very next season of Game of Thrones. Now, what we do know is that these series will not be anything that have, that takes place after you know, the series that we are currently watching ends. It will not be anything in the future. It's only going to be in the past, which I think we kind of figured would be the case. But what is kind of interesting is they came out and said that whatever this is going to be about will absolutely not have anything to do with characters that have been currently established, and it will definitely not be Robert's Rebellion, which to me seems like the, the easiest thing to do. Okay, so that means they're either going to go really way far back in the timeline of the world according to George R. R. Martin, or it's going to be just some other stuff, which I'm okay with, sort of, but at the same time, I feel like they're missing the opportunity, which is to cash in on something at its height, and, you know, Robert's Rebellion would be the best. But the reasoning behind it, the reasoning that George R. R. Martin gave, which is that when I'm finished with all my books, you'll know everything there is to know about Robert's Rebellion, which... For me, it just seems like another reason for him to say, hey guys, just buy my books when I, you know, eventually get around to finishing them, probably, I don't know, in 20 years, if I'm still alive. I don't know. Either way, we are eventually going to find out what there is to know, even though, I mean, what's that mean? Is there means there's another secret that we don't know about? I don't know. But in the meantime, there is a desperate need for something to watch on television. A desperate need. Thankfully, I have found something that some of you Game of Thrones fans might actually enjoy and might be able to kind of keep you keep you occupied, at least until Game of Thrones comes back on. And that is a TV show called The Expanse. Now, The Expanse is based on another book series written by a different author. You know, don't limit yourself to just one author, guys. There's a lot of authors of really good books out there. But he is making... This series is... It starts off, it's kind of got this, you know, kind of a futuristic sci-fi, noir, you know, mystery to it. And it's really good. And if you like sci-fi, you're going to love this. If you don't like sci-fi, but maybe you still like that kind of, you know, intellectual thriller where you're kind of trying to figure out what's going on, you know, and a lot of intrigue, political intrigue, stuff like that, like Game of Thrones, you're going to love this. So I think it might not necessarily, if it's something that doesn't appeal to you, the sci-fi aspect, I think the way it's written will. This show is really good. I just got finished doing the first season. Loved it. Working everything I can now to figure out how I can get a hold of everything for the second season. 
because me and my wife both loved it. We want to watch the second season, and it's already been announced that they picked it up for a third season. Now, something I did read about this, which kind of made me disappointed, is that the show doesn't is not getting a very good ratings. But they're sticking with it for now because they think that this show has a lot to offer and they're hoping that it will eventually build up, especially when it hits things like Netflix, which I know that right now I think season one is on Netflix or it's coming to Netflix. So once these things start happening and more people you know, absorb it from different forms of media, then it'll kind of build up a little bit of a following and it deserves it, guys. You need to see The Expanse. It needs to be saved, and hopefully more of you will watch it because I'm telling you, this show could go on for several seasons, and it needs to be talked about in the same sentence as as Game of Thrones, as Walking Dead, as Westworld, shows like that that we all love. It definitely needs to be discussed. Trust me, guys, watch this show. You will not be disappointed. But speaking of disappointed, another thing I read, guys, and it says that it's possible that the Justice League movie, which is supposed to come out this end of this year, is going through extensive reshoots. Apparently, WB executives did not like the cut that Zack Snyder made, and they want to do this. Now, how much of this is true, I don't know. Every show does reshoots, and they do things that they change around. That always happens. And every time it comes out and it's something that's popular, people freak out. Oh, no, what's wrong? The show must be bad. doesn't mean the show's bad. What it does mean is that WB executives have, again stuck their finger in a pie they don't need to be in, which is the creation of a television and movie shows from DC. Okay, this is something that irritates me. I'm I'm a huge comic book fan. I love Marvel. I love DC. I love them equally. I'm not one of those people that's going to jump on one or the other. So I want to see them both succeed. Marvel has succeeded in movies. Where they're failing at right now is in their comic books. Their comic books are awful right now. Their new comic books are straight garbage. Now, on the other hand, you have DC, whose comics right now are really good, but their movies, well, they suck. We all know that. They have not been up to par, not as good. They have moments where you watch them and you can appreciate them as a fan, but overall, the stories are kind of like, you know? I mean, come on, guys. They have a huge, a huge plethora of things that they, they can pull this information out of, guys. They have great storylines. Great storylines that all they have to do is figure out a way to adapt them into television. I mean, for example, look at Christopher Nolan's All Those Batmans. Okay, we all loved him. Unanimously known that everyone loved those Batmans, except for maybe, you know, Christian Bell's voice, which everyone makes fun of. But overall, they were really good. Everyone really liked them. But the story itself were not really adapted from anything from the comic because Chris Nolan's a great writer and he comes up with his own thing, but he used Batman. Now, if someone who's got that kind of talent would just tap into some of the really great storylines of DC and take that and then turn it into a, you know, a good screenplay, we could have a really good movie. But you got to stay out of the pie, WB executives. Don't freak out when something's kind of weird or different. If you don't like weird or different, you shouldn't be in the you know worried about comic books anyhow because a lot of comic books are weird and different. So, please, please stay away from the movies. And all we can do right now for you know DC Marvel comic fans like myself is pray, pray that Wonder Woman, which comes out in just about a week, is going to be good. I hope it is. I really hope it is. And I, that's that's where all my hope lies right now. I'm not even thinking about Justice League. I just want Wonder Woman to be good, and hopefully we can all calm down. Well, that's it, guys. That's all I got to talk about this week. I mean, maybe once in a while I might do it more often. I wish I could do a daily a daily vlog about the different things that are going on, but unfortunately, I just don't have that time. I just don't have that time, but I'm going to do this once a week, maybe even multiple times. Doesn't mean I'm not going to throw out a you know, you know speculation video every now and then if something big happens, but... Until Game of Thrones, guys, it's going to be kind of, it eh, depends on what happens. But when Game of Thrones comes back, hopefully we're going to be at it full time, back at it again. Me and Rich, hopefully. But until next time, I'll see you later.